All right, guys, and welcome back. This is Rankwist here, bringing you episode number two. And so, unfortunately, I hit one of those crash moments in my last LP, and it brought me back to September third uh, of fourteen forty-five. So, what we were doing? We were getting ready for our battle with Granada. Now, I'm a little worried because in the last episode, we were actually we actually got called in the war against Aragon. And so where are we? Do we have... So what I'm going to want to do is going to... I mean, I am going to need to shore up my defenses against them because they are a lot stronger than what they look. Uh, and the only way to beat them is by having a larger stack than them and then crush their army first. So where was I? Okay. All right. So let's look around. Um... In the last episode, what I did to begin with was I created a an earth rampart in the Canaries. So let's build our buildings. And I actually didn't get to show you this. So if we look at the earth rampart, it costs 50 gold to create. Um, and it also costs uh, 10 military power. And it takes 12 months or a whole year to build. And again, if we look down here, um, so anything that's green means that we can build on it. Anything that's blue means that it's already been built there. If there are... Um, blue dashes that means that it is in progress of being built and if there are uh or if it's red then that means that we do not have all the required resources whether it be ducats or actually military power to do so um and then also if we look again in our trade node um which i talked about we are half in uh sevilla and we are half in bordeaux and so right now portugal owns 42 percent of the trade power here um we are going to want to combat that a little bit, and we're going to use that by taking our fleet. And I actually named it, and it is going to be sent to protect trade and Sevilla. Now, for every ship, every light ship that you send to a trade node to protect trade, it adds three, um, three trade power. So if you notice here, uh, Portugal has twelve additional trade power from ships um, and it is that means that they have four ships protecting the Sevilla node we're going to have seven which is going to increase our power exponentially here um, and it should double our money or pretty close very close so all right so let's take our men we are going to want to get a military leader and we already have one so let's put him in here with this our troops uh he's got a modify he's got a bunch of modifiers he's a very good leader he's got fire two shock two and a maneuver three now those the first two well all three modifiers help in battle the maneuver also helps by increasing his speed so that's three uh the highest you can actually get i believe is six as well inside these so um, so yes, there are different phases within combat, and we may actually see that in this video, because I know that Aragon ended up attacking our uh, ally Navarra, um, who then called us into war. Uh, so so yes, so the this general will give an additional two points to a roll in the fire phase, two in the shock phase, and we'll get bonuses for having a high maneuver score. And so we'll be actually be able to slow down the game a little bit because I think that was part of the problem I think it was going too fast um, so yes we can now invest in a cardinal I don't know um, so let's look we will we want to be the curia controller uh, we've got 13 influence you spend them in bunches of five uh, so right now the cheapest one to get is de Buig, de Buiger, de Buiger, I don't know uh, and looks like we're going to take him, yes, let's get, invest 10 points into that. And so again, in order to get controller, cure controller, some of the, these guys need to die, and then these guys need to be elected into there, um, which kind of happens by random. Usually it's by the oldest, uh, person in, uh, this group, but it, that's not always the case. Um, and by having the most amount of cardinals in here, we then gain control of the curia. So that's good. Got 178. Oh, yes. Let's take a look. Considering we may go to war. Um, if we look at our war. Ooh, I actually need to reset my timer. 
if we look at our war stats, um, we have the Latin medieval infantry, Latin knights for those units. Uh, this is infantry and cavalry. Um, and we look at our force limit. This is how many troops that we have um, as far as our, uh, our amount of land gives us. So as we grow and expand, we'll be able to have higher force limits. So right now, uh, we are under our force limit of uh, 24 units. We have 18. We're going to want to recruit another six units. Um, and then the same... Oh, no, 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 I lied. I was looking at the wrong one. Force limit, we have room for 28 uh, land units. I was looking at the um, the naval force limit. So we can... 28 land units, we have 21. So we can recruit seven more units, and then we can recruit, uh, recruit six more boats. So we are eventually going to want to do that, but I'm going to want to start off with our land units. We've got our advisors. Now, as um, a Western country, there is a certain proficiency that you're going to want to have as far as your units. So between cavalry and um, infantry, as a, a, a Western country, the ratio is 50, I believe 50, 50. Uh, I don't remember where it actually shows that. Hmm. Looks like I can't actually build anything yet. That's strange. It's okay. I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. So let's gain. There we go. So we just recruited three infantry, and we also can, uh, recruited four cavalry units, and they're all gonna be built in Castilla la Vieja. Which is very nice. Okay, and then on top of that, uh, we've got our attack fleet, which we are going to want to possibly upgrade. Let's look at building more. Let's go to the province. Nope, back. I want to build ships. Let's get some early carracks. Now, these ones are expensive, but they have the most amount of guns, which is pretty much everything. Um, so early carracks are the strongest boats uh, in their class. Now, as you upgrade, um, that's not good. As you upgrade your technology, you'll be able to get uh, newer boats depending on different levels. But to start off, we have the early carrack, bark. We can build galleys and cogs. Now the difference between barks and galleys, they're pretty close to the same. Um, but the galley is more designed towards the inland seas like the Mediterranean. Uh, whereas the bark is designed for big oceans. So... Um, the early Carrick will generally always outgun both of these, but these two in here, um, you have to be careful of. And then Cogs are your transport class. So they're pretty much only designed to transport different units. They do have guns on them, but not very many. Um, so as you can see, um, the galley has more guns than the bark, um, but you also gain trade power with the bark. So you're going to want to use this one for trade. Um, and if you have an inland sea, use this one um, if you want cheaper boats. Uh, but essentially, if you want boats that are really heavy duty, then uh, the early Carrick or the big ship class is the way to go. Now, noble de nobles demand old rights. The nobility during this period still recalled the days when the king was just a first uh, among many nobles. No the nobility wanted to return to these days and would frequently pressure the king to re uh, regain certain lost rights of privileges. So we can either accept the demands and get increased decentralization until May uh, 1456, which is 10 years. Um, and that will give us national revolt risk will goes down. We also lose tax modifier. Um, and this is in, yeah, or we can do, we can lose one stability. And honestly, I'm just going to accept their demands because uh, I don't want to waste the stability just yet. We're going to need it.
Hmm. I think this may be a bug. Because I usually you should be able to click on the units in this section. Oh well. Let's look. We've got... We're still improving relations with Portugal. And we are still improving relations with Aragon. So... Hopefully this time Aragon will be much nicer than they were last time. We are still hostile. Well, they are still hostile towards us, which I don't know why. We like them a fair bit, but again, you have... Sorry about that, guys. So apparently my game had bugged out, which is no fun. So if we... Oop, I keep hitting the wrong button. Um, so if we go back to the build interface, uh, as you can see, land units there, filled, mercenaries, um, all these guys. So they are... Um, you can select on here and click from here as you please. Um, and then buildings and whatnot. So, uh, where were we? We also have more tabs here. Aragon, they're at 87. They're still hostile. Again, border friction of 14. Okay, now I'm back. So let's time go by. Again, let's hope that we do not... Um, That we do not get into war with them again. Open this back up. Now we can offer to vassalize Navarra. Um, which the way to do that is by increasing their relations by, to 190. Um, you have to have a royal marriage with them. Um, so certain government types like a theocracy, like the Pope, um, you are not going to be able to do that. Now the uh, benefit of vassalization is you can eventually integrate them into your country. Uh, so you can diplo annex them. That's a, one of their term, one of the U EU four terms. Um, which when you when you diplo annex somebody, you do not gain gain any of the aggressive expansion penalties that you would if you were to conquer somebody. Uh, so that's definitely a way that we're going to be expanding for the most part, um, except for probably with Navarra, they're probably going to be punks. Um, so let's look at Portugal. They are at 166. I'm going to recall them um, and see if hopefully we can inc improve relations with Navarra enough so that we can vassalize them. Now it's going to take time uh, because it doesn't happen automatically. Uh, let's look for Arbonge. All right, so let it, let's improve our relations. Uh, we're going to wait eight days for our diplomat to come back. One zero. Okay. Let's improve relations. Send it to him. And also another way that we can improve our relations with a country is by uh, looking at the other country's rivals. Uh, who do they dislike? And Navarro has a rival of foe. Bam. Yeah. So if we go to our country, we can click on our rival spot. It costs 10 Diplo points to uh, choose somebody as a rival. You click on one of the slots that you want to grab, click on the country, or you can choose from this humongous list of every country that we know of in the game. Um, and they are automatically a rival. And it's kind of showing that we are hostile towards them. Um, so you get an enemy of our enemy bonus. Um, so if we let the game tick, that's going to slowly tick up. Each month, I think. So let's look. Yes, there it is. Plus one. I believe it goes up to plus 50. Um, so with that moving, as well as our improved relations, we can also send them a gift. Uh, military access from Provence. Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know what you're going to do with it, but you can have it. Okay. Still building our Carrick. And there it is, boys and girls. We've got the call to arms from uh, Navarra. And we're going to accept this time. And this time it's going to be different. I swear. Uh, let's merge our armies. 
They are under the lead of our general, and we're going to attack. We're going to attack as quickly as we can. We are completely funded, and we have twice as many troops as them. So hopefully we can win this out, because the last time this happened, things did not go so well. Ooh. No, actually, I want to go this way. And let's go back into political map mode. And yes, we have an advantage for now. Uh-oh. Not going so well. We have a river crossing penalty. And we lost. Wow. We have a broken retreat all the way back to Cadiz. And hopefully we can gain morale by then. We've got some more units that we are building. We need to gain morale as quickly as possible because we are about to get spanked yet again. Not fun. So we've gained a couple of troops here. Get a little bit of time. What can we do? What can we do? We are actually at half strength. So what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to consolidate our regiments. Uh, and what that will do is that we'll take all of these smaller regiments, which do not operate at full strength, put them into a into as big of regiments as possible. So if you notice our cavalry, we've got a bunch of uh, 1000s and then this little 81 stack, which is probably going to die pretty quickly, but they will be able to operate at full strength. Um, and hopefully, by being the defender, them crossing a river into our units, we will be able to have an advantage. Hmm. And we did not. So we are fleeing to Asturias. Still got some units being built. Let's build some more. Okay, we'll let those build up. Uh, now we gain, we reinforce on the first of every month. So we will. hopefully be able to let them split up, which is nice. Also, another good thing, as we can see here, uh, Aragon has now been entrenched in peasants, which is not good for them. Uh, so these peasants are Argonies, just regular peasants, and they are pissed off for some sort of reason. Um, so they are actually helping us by sieging their lands. So if we merge these guys here. We now have an okay army. Oh, there we go. Head to Leon. Now, Aragon's going to have to go and fight them off. So this is our time. We should try to fight these smaller stacks that are trying to siege our lands. While they try and deal with the rebels. Attack them in Lisboa. Again, we get that river crossing penalty. Uh, they have a morale advantage. That's what it looks like. And we are rolling zeros. So as you can see, battle is determined by the roll of the dice. Uh, so as we... Oh, it looks like we killed that stack. That is nice. So we killed 4,000 units worth of uh, 
the Argonese army, um, including all their regiments. So it's going to be at an increased cost to them to resupply them. So let's actually pause real quick and let's take a look at our military advisors. Special manpower. Uh, we cannot afford the guy that I want. But we can attack. Again, we've got the river crossing, but we do have a, a man advantage. And there we go. Boom. One. Killed that army. Fantastic. Our trade fleet is home, which is good. We want them to do that. And we're going to start sieging. So it looks like we're going to turn this war around. Uh, we're going to let our men replenish. And our manpower, we gain 204 each month, which is not very good. Uh, but all of those men are going to be put to reinforce our armies. Our policy of free trade is allowing our merchants to expand our trade. Good. Let's take our navy. Let's merge them. I know I... Oh, no, 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 no. Sit. That was a bad idea. Yep, very bad idea. okay we only lost one ship it's not that big of a deal right now is a time to attack another small army see if we can pick them off get away from this big stack because that's this uh, the province of Aragon is right next to Burgos hopefully we can end this battle I know, I know, I know. Haha, you couldn't catch me. 